Hey what's up guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So I entered a competition recently and out of 400 entries I actually won and I've got these for free. So these are the Soundlink over ear wireless headphones from Bose. Now I'm going to give you a quick unboxing and then a run through of my review on actually how I think these headphones perform and give you a little bit of an audio test and an audio review as well to see how they sound. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so just seeing what's in the box. Right, got a nice little pad in there. Bit of instructions on there as well. So we've got the carry case, the headphones inside there. What else we got in here? Just the user guide uh, and some other leaflets and information as well. So let's go ahead and open this. This is a very nice built mesh and leather carry case. So let's go ahead and open that. This is pretty cool. So we've got the Bose headphones just there. The carry case is quite nice. It's got a little compartment, elasticated, where you can pull out the USB charging cable. And you also have the wired headphone jack cable so if you don't want to use the Bluetooth wireless on there you can just connect it directly into your headphone jack and play it from that so pretty simple straightforward unboxing now let's go ahead and have a look at the build it comes with the stainless steel outer case in there with the Bose logo you've got your on button which is also the Bluetooth connection button as well so you'd have to just flip that up and it turns it on and if you wanted to pair it you just flick it up again and it will start looking for Bluetooth devices to connect to. So I'll turn that off for now. It's got the nice ear padding, goes around. I really like this blue color as well. Now inside the earbuds, you can see it's got the letter L and on the other one it's got the letter R. So that's how you find if it's the left or right earbud. You also have the charging port there on the right earbud. You also have the volume controls. You can skip and play to the next songs. You can also answer your calls from there as well, pretty standard. You have the headphone jack there, so you can just connect the wire on that. Now just along the headpiece there, it's got a micro suede Alcantara padded cushion. It's very comfortable and the purpose of that is to evenly distribute the weight and make the headphones a little bit more stable when you're putting them on. So that's pretty much everything on the headphones. So let's go ahead and see how we compare. One swipe up, it turns it on. Swipe it up again, it will now be searching for Bluetooth devices and it will be relaying that information through the earbuds as well. Right, you can see that it's found the Bose Soundlink headphones there. So I'll go ahead and connect that. And I will try to put the headphones closer to the microphone that I've got above my head to see if there's any audio confirmation that you can hear from it. Connected to Galaxy S9. And there you have it, it's connected. So hopefully you heard the confirmation noise there. Now I'll go ahead and I'll put this on. Just before I get into that, one thing, I wanted to mention is that you can also connect your headphones to your phone using NFC. So if you have an NFC enabled device, primarily you get them mostly used on Android phones. iPhones do have them, but the iPhone 6 and iPhone 7 and the NFC on there is only compatible with Apple Pay, so it might not work with that, just to be aware. Now if you just open up your NFC settings, you can just tap the right earbud and then it connects through NFC and it will pair with your phone straight away, so that's really quick and easy as well, so have a look at that. So let's go ahead and try to listen to some music and see how that sounds. Now this is a song called Hold Up by Fajon. See if you guys can hear this. I have to say that it's very comfortable to put around ears. I can see it being used for hours and hours if you want to use it in a gym, when you go for a run, just in the office, then it'll do a really good job. It's quite comfortable. Now I have to say, in terms of the bass, I was expecting it to be a little bit better. Now I have the Marshall Major 2 Bluetooth headphones as well, and I think the bass on there is a little bit better than these ones. However, having said that, for the price you pay, 
and for the quality of the build then I think it does a really good job. Now let me just go ahead and play another song just to get another feel for the beats. Now I have to say it's a really good pair of headphones, I can see myself using this quite often. Now in comparison to my Marshall Major 2 Bluetooth headphones here, they're about half the price of these Bose ones, but I think the quality on the audio is a little bit better on there. Having said that, I do think Bose are really good at making headphones, I can see myself wearing this a little bit longer than these ones, because these ones can get a little bit uncomfortable after an hour of wearing them. The Bose ones, they do fit around the ears, whereas the Marshall ones fit on the ears, so they can end up hurting a little bit after the a long period of use. Now for this I would pay the price for the comfortability, the longevity and what I really like about it is the LED indicators when you first turn on the headphones as well to show you a battery life. Now speaking about the battery life, 3 hours full charge will give you 15 hours of playtime and you can get a 15 minute charge and get 2 hours of wireless playtime on that as well so I think that's really good. The other thing I like about this is when you first turn on the headphones, it gives you an audio indication of how much the battery life is currently on. So hopefully I can give you an example of that now. So I've just turned it off, now I'm going to turn it back on and just hold it up to the microphone here and hopefully you can hear to see the audio confirmation of the battery life. Battery 50%, connected to Galaxy S9. See I think that's pretty useful and I would find a lot of benefit in having that known to me. One other thing that these headphones come with is the fact that you can switch between two Bluetooth devices using these headphones, which my other headphones can't do. So if you wanted to switch between your mobile phone or your laptop, you can do that quite easily using these headphones. You can do that from the app. Now talking about the app, it comes with a Bose Connect app that you can download from the Play Store or the iOS Store, and that allows you to control the tracks, the volumes, the switching between two different devices. You can also use that to check the battery percentage of the headphones as well, which I think is pretty useful. Now one other test I wanted to do is to see the difference between the wired headphones and the wireless headphones. So I've seen a lot of uh, reviews online to say that if you use the wireless ones, you hear sometimes a crackling noise. I've heard the wired ones are a lot better than the wireless ones, but both seem to say that there's a very fine line between them and sometimes you cannot tell the difference. So I've just connected the wire instead. I'll just turn off the headphones here and just play it through the wired headphones. I would say that there's probably around a 5% difference where in terms of you get better bass quality, better audio coming through in general. I think it is very close. If I wanted to use the wireless ones, I would stick with the wireless ones. The wired ones are not going to sway me enough to switch using just the wired instead. So I think that's pretty awesome anyway from the wireless point of view. Overall, I think the headphones, they're worth about 180 to 200 pounds depending on where you buy it, either the Bose website or from Amazon or so on. And it's not the uh, cheapest set of headphones, but it's also by far not the most expensive. You can get the Bose QC35 wireless headphones as well. They have the voice prompts in there for Google Assistant. They also have better noise cancellation. They are a little bit more expensive, about 120 pounds more. But overall, I think the price you pay for, both have done a really good job on these and I would definitely recommend them. When I'm using them, the buttons and the ports, they're in a very natural position. It's easy to adjust, you can do that. It's easy to fold, you just twist it that way and then just, they become flat and they get put into your carry case and you can just take it with you anyway. So that's the review guys, I hope you like that. If you have any other questions that you'd like to know about these Bose Soundlink headphones, then please do drop a comment below. Otherwise do give this video a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe. I've got a lot more headphone reviews coming up in the future and I will see you guys next time. Take care.